Hello everyone. Who is uh, the officer or who uh, work at home? Uh, my name is Roger. Uh, I would like today. I would like to introduce about the tools we use the meeting. Uh, as uh, many of you use a meeting in the team, so we have uh, many tools like uh, Cisco WebEx. Uh, Microsoft team that we support. So uh, today, but today, uh, we would like to show about the Cisco WebEx, how to accept as guests. And in the Cisco WebEx, you can invite the customer who didn't use the WebEx to meeting with uh, with our team as well. So let me start. Uh, if uh, before you you have a meetings, uh, we have a tools to use in the WebEx meeting like uh, uh, Microsoft Office uh, and for the hardware we can use a headset. In this case, uh, we have the Evo Java Evo Forty to use the WebEx meeting, and we have the Microsoft Outlook as the app, and you have the market in the calendar and see the invitation from the host. Let me see. Let me see. First of all, uh, in first of all, I would like to show in the Outlook. Uh, we have the select in the calendar, and if you if the host is a invitation to you, and there is a list. Or the link to you, so we can see the intel inside the WebEx meeting. As you see, uh, there is uh, subjects, uh, invitation, people, start and end, and in time, location, and there is a generic link um, for the WebEx meeting. There is a if the easy step, you can go to the join meeting. As a link is a green button. You can click it then, and we will come to the internet browser to generate and uh, link to the Bex meeting. It spent a lot of time for this one. In, in some case, if the, you use the Office 365, it will request you to fill the email address and password. And sign in. Okay, it's quite take a long time for loading, uh, and uh, if you use in the system or VPN or without VPN, it's the same. So, uh, okay. In this year, if you didn't uh, use the WebEx before, it will request you to install the WebEx add-in. So we can go here and run a temporary application and select one. After that, it will install the WebEx automatic column. In 
this installation is uh, installed for one time, you didn't need to reinstall the next time in your meeting. So, in in the first time, you need to take time to install the Cisco WebEx setting for the customer or the person who didn't use the WebEx before. It takes some time. But you see, I, I hear some voice that uh, many of uh, many people use the meeting. So this tool is quite benefit um, for you to have the meeting and sometimes uh, use to remote to support uh, your user or your customer as well. So it's nearly to be complete. Okay. This time we are all in the WebEx meeting room already. But the, we have many functions to use. I will disable the videos. We have many functions to call uh, because uh, some, some, some of you are calling, some of you are use, call using this computer, or some all of you using your mobile. In this case, uh, if your customer uh, doesn't have a headset or use, to, use the dashboard to call in, you can select call in. And there is a details of the calling in. You can find the toll free in the operable call in numbers. And if you chose, you can find the country that you live. In this time, I will use the Cisco IP phone to call in. So let's, let's call in. As you see, if uh, we call in, it will request the access code, and you can see it's in below there. Okay, and right now we're waiting for the response from the web. Welcome to WebEx. This access code or meeting number followed by pound. Okay, we will uh, put the access code. Followed by H. Enter your attendee ID number, followed by pound. If you do not know your attendee number, press pound to continue. Okay, five, seven, pounds. You are the first person to join the meeting. Please stand by. Okay, okay. In this time, we are all in to join the WebEx meeting with the video conference and the voice. If you like this video, please click like or share this video and click subscribe for, for, for me uh, to make the next video and alert you to see the next video. Thank you for watching.